welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running and Style. Today I'm sharing with you my January makes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do try to upload videos every Sunday, sometimes I don't, but I don't ever go beyond two weeks without uploading something to share with you all. So let's take a look at all the projects that I completed in this month as well as <laughs> two tag-alongs from last year, <laughs> okay? Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this dress I'm wearing is British Style for 2010 Design 1 2017. I'll get up and I'll give you guys a little full-on look of this shortly. Hi again, let's take a look at my tag-along from 2010. 16. This is Tilly and the Buttons Rosa dress and I have it in the background here but you are going to see me modeling it for you all. I enjoyed making this project. I I do apologize that it's coming to you all so late but November and December were crazy months for me. Everything that I had planned just went out the door and I actually started to sew more or less the end of December through January trying to catch up with all my projects so it's been so crazy. The dress is amazing. Now the instructions for this shirt dress are easy and clear to follow. Tilly does an amazing job speaking in the language that you understand. The illustration in the booklet are quite helpful. The dress features a yoke in the front and the back. It is semi-fitted. There are princess seams which you can top stitch. I like the piped details you can do with the design. The back has a curved pointed back. To me it's sort of a western style and I really like the turned up sleeve with the button. To keep it up it's it's a very cute detail it looks quite professional this is a wonderful project to start if you've never sewn before it's you know it's 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 a little intermediate but I think it's a good first project if you've done the basics of making a straight skirt, making a gathered skirt, a little tank. I think this is a perfect next step in your sewing journey because of the clarity of her instructions. It is made for beginners sewers. So definitely check out Tilly and the Button. I forgot to mention that the Rosa dress was made with Mammoth Flannel by Kaufman. It is an amazing fabric. The feel is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And it is so very warm. Ideal material for the cold days. So if you haven't made anything with this fabric, definitely go out there and check it out because it is a warm fabric. I love it. I went out and I bought a few more of the flannel in that collection and the colors are amazing too. Like the the marriage between the lights, the darks, the thick line, the skinny lines. It's perfect. The next project is Simplicity 1325. It's a jumper style pattern but it also has a really nice raglan sleeve or tee, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to make something super fast and very <laughs> simple because I felt like I wasn't getting any of my projects done in December and I just needed some comfort sewing that would fill me up and make me feel good about myself. <laughs> and I know this does not look like much but it's a very quick pattern and the fit is amazing. I love it. This is my second time making it and I will share with you the outfit that I, I put together for um, New Year's and I, I hope they, you guys will like it. It's just that this was something that I I went through all my stash looking for something really glitzy and I'm like I'm not running out to the store buying any more fabric. It's late and I just zipped it up really quick. I bought that fabric about two or three years ago so I can't even remember where I got it. It does have a little stretch, not a lot. 
maybe she looks kind of naked back there but anyways I will insert the spin and just just the overall look of the the outfit that I pulled together and how this turned out Hey, I am back with my January mix. Now, back here I have the toaster sweater by So House 7. And I made this one because I thought it was really cool. It's very cute and I liked it. Another reason I made it was because I am taking part in the 2017 Make 9 and this is the first pattern I put on my list as well as the So My Style which is on Instagram and this is their first pick as well. So this pattern has a raglan sleeve, it's sort of funnel uh, neckline, um, there are the cuffs as well and a really wide uh, band at the waist. So it does have that sort of sporty look if you do some color blocking and I enjoyed making this. It was fast to make. I swear yeah, pretty much. I swear. I swear that it took me about two hours to make this. And I actually have another one cut out. I hope to get that done soon. If I don't, just because I have other things on my table that needs to get done before that, um, I will share with you in my next make video. But for now, just know that there's a second one of this going on. And this is the first version. There's two versions in that pattern. And the, the second version is just really simple. It's, uh, it's a crew neck. It's a high neck. So, yeah. The second version is really simple. Nothing um, too extravagant going on there. When something is simple it doesn't mean that it's going to look boring because you have the advantage as someone that sews you can choose whatever fabric you desire and get the look that you want based on your style and who you are and that's why we sew now with that said that second one is pretty simple but it can definitely look awesome as did my version The fabric is um, a sort of, I called it a soup bowl. Everyone else said it looks more like a rice bowl. My daughter did as well. So we're going with rice bowl fabric. This rice bowl, rice, ugh. <laughs> this rice bowl fabric is a knit with some really good recovery. It has a wonderful stretch. I totally enjoyed making this project with it. I cut it an extra small, which is my exact measurement to the T on the pattern because I kind of wanted to get a feel for the, the brand since it's my first time sewing it and um, I used the finished measurement. Now my next version, because I have a leftover of this fabric, is a size medium because I wanted to have a little more room, a little more play. But as you can see from the styling of this, it worked perfect. I love the color and the feel. And I can definitely see myself walking around town, strutting my stuff in this because this outfit looks really good. I love it. Wonderful make for the month. A, a really good way to kickstart my year because I was feeling kind of down in the dumps because of the weather and not being able to go out as much as I want. So let's move on to my second project of 2017. My last two projects were part of the day and night dress challenge which is hosted or should I say was hosted by Elizabeth made this I will leave her link in the description box as well as my entire blog post on the projects that I chose for the day dress and the night dress as you can see that is my day dress back there and it is birder style 9 2014 style 130 I'm pretty sure I got that correct. Yes, I did. Okay, so this dress is 
by far one of the scariest dress I had to make and it wasn't scary or nerve-wracking because it was hard to make it was more the fact that my fabric choices were not the usual or a typical one I really had some great ideas on having a lot of texture and color in this piece because I wanted it to be me. I wanted it to be fun and colorful. Now it's like dark <laughs> but it looks really good but I really wanted a fun color and I couldn't find anything in my stash and I just decided to go with what was there. With that said, the black portion on the top I did go out and buy because I wanted to balance out the the red and the the blue sort of white washiness of the the skirt fabric and I know most of you or some of you had some concerns about me combining these two pieces because they just didn't look like they married nicely together like they didn't mesh well but I could see it. I mean, I could see it in my mind how it was going to look. I could totally visualize it. And I felt nerve, nervous to do it. I'm like, what am I doing? Why did I choose this Renata? You're going to look terrible. So anyway, I was really nervous about putting this together. And I have to say, I just stuck to my guns. And I, I was like, I, I know it's just not the typical pieces that go together but I just had the feeling that it would look really nice and I think it looks really nice I hope you guys feel the same but the fabric the black one is performance fabric from Joann's the red fabric is uh, um, from style maker fabrics and um, the the skirt portion is from fabric.com so Three different fabric, three different places. I feel like a player. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I forgot I said that. I love each piece and I felt that they look really good together. And I think the end result definitely shows that, you know, things may not look like they work well together or actually at first glance you put them together and you're not sure that they will work well but I think if you have an idea the best you can do is try it I mean yeah it could come out looking terrible but at least now you know going forward well that sort of thing won't work with what I have in mind but maybe something else will and I I believe that you won't know these things unless you try so I tried and I think it's a win now Let's move on to my second project for the day and night challenge. As a reminder, this is also part of my 2017 Make 9. I'm trying to like stick all the projects I can into as many initiatives because it will make my life less stressful. Now, let's move on to the second one. This is my last make for January. It is Vogue V1490 and it is a Nicola Finetti design. This is my second project using his patterns at Vogue. The first one I will leave in the description box. It was just the most horrible thing I sewed. It gave me a headache. I just wanted to shoot myself. <laughs> yeah. But I'm telling you, that dress, it was the bomb. It was awesome. It was worth all the pain. And I'll leave that in the description box. You can check it out. Now, this one was not like a brain killer. This one was actually quite simple to make, but the wow factor was amazing. Now, Originally, this dress for my day and night challenge was supposed to be Birder Style 11 2014 119. I ran out of fabric, so I thought I would go and get some more. They didn't have any, so I had to like think really quick and come up with um, a different um, design, something that would warrant a night dress but still be easy enough that I can get done to meet my deadline 
And now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> I totally forgot that I had this dress on my list as a possible inspiration for the day and night challenge so i didn't really go too far off i just didn't get my number one pick completed for that now i love this sort of uh <clears throat> tulipy feel to it it's got a really deep neckline and you guys could take a, a a better look at it on the video that is going to be next to me i really like the neckline of this dress, the asymmetric styling of the skirt, the pleating detail of this skirt, it's amazing. Like the fit is just off the chain. It is an amazing fit. It feels so good and everything came together really nice. It's completely lined on the inside. It is a, a wonderful dress. I think it took me about four or five hours of straight sewing to get this done just because you know other things were going on and I was just trying to be as focused as I could but overall this dress is amazing I love the fit I enjoyed making it and I had a blast with the day and night dress challenge there were so many amazing bloggers on there I felt really honored to be asked um, you know to be part of it uh, Judith D asked me if I wanted to partake and the lovely Elizabeth accepted me and I feel very proud to be part of those wonderful sewers and on the blog tour. <sighs> there you have it. Those are all my makes for January plus some tag along. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow Running and Style on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until I see you in my next upload, have a wonderful day. Bye.